Um, the second question is um, a long one. I won't read all of that. That's from DH, again from the UK. Um, but I've put it uh, there because it's a very frequently asked question and it's uh, sort of my hobby horse. It's something that I feel very strongly uh, about and that is about hysterectomy and endometriosis. So uh, the gist of the question is uh, um, should I have a hysterectomy or not? She has given her history and it looks like that she has lots of different issues including heavy bleeding and uh, and some adenomyosis and the surgeon is uh, suggesting that she has a hysterectomy. So by definition endometriosis is the growth of uh, endometrial type tissue outside the uterus. So uh, that means that uh, removing the uterus does not solve the problem in a patient with endometriosis. Um, and this is a bit like, um, say, you go to the dentist and you have a problem with your front tooth and uh, they will want to remove your wisdom tooth. Um, sorry, the other way around. If you have a problem with your wisdom tooth and they want to remove your front tooth because it's easier to remove. That's, that's uh, the, the example I usually use. So hysterectomy is not a treatment for endometriosis, but there is a very important caveat here, and that is in a patient where endometriosis coexists with adenomyosis, and adenomyosis is the growth of endometrial type tissue inside the muscle of the uterus, then that's a different story. Then there may be a point in removing uh, the uterus in a patient who's completed their family, and, and uh, are happy to have a hysterectomy. Uh, there are other situations as well in, in um, women who also have very significant heavy menstrual uh, bleeding. That may be another indication. But the important point here is that you need to talk to your consultant, to your gynecologist, to your physician, um, about the reasons that they are um, suggesting that the uterus needs to be removed. And there may be a very good reason to do so. In many of, of, of our patients, there is a good reason to do so, and that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. But you need to be clear about that reason. Adenomyosis is, is a very good reason uh, in a woman who's completed their family to have a hysterectomy uh, at the same time.